I'm turning somebody's daughter off this summer on God. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most tech-savvy show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my raging co-host, Brayden. I will kill all of you! Woo! All right, today we're gonna do a little bit of scrolling. This is Guess, Guess the, the Rapper, rapper from, from Their, their Instagram, Instagram Captions. captions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's how this one's gonna work. We're gonna see three captions pulled from a rapper's Instagram. We're gonna have to guess which rapper's Instagram they're pulled from. One point for each one we get right, me versus Graydon, versus you, Elijah in Wyoming. You outrageous idiot thinking you're gonna beat us in our own game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemindtv.com for our merch, and as always, our Patreon is linked in the description. It is $5 a month. It is the best way to support us, and you get extra content. Yes, Lord! Now lastly, before we get into the game, this video is sponsored by... OK Drugs! Drugs, drugs, drugs. CBD peach eatables. We'll tell you a little bit more about those later in the video. All right, first artist. We got, on my mama, I'ma like this picture. Okay. That's a caption on a picture? Wow, okay. Pull pull in to back by the cut. I'm JB, Larry, TTY, and Tez Dem, Lil Brudda, fool. Okay, with a okay. crying laughing emoji and a dagger. Yeah. That's cool. And then, y'all ain't the only ones getting that Usher money. Whoa. Ooh. Who makes a caption on my mama? I'm gonna like this picture. It's like you are speaking for your constituents here, kind of. I think that's just brilliant psychology. Like, yeah. It's like, like I'm gonna oh. like, I'm gonna like this picture. They probably did also like their own picture, which is a power move. Mm -hmm. Used to be seen as kind of desperate. Yeah. Like maybe if you got like 14 likes on there and you're one of the 14, not as cool. Yeah. But I mean, if you're liking it and of course I like the picture, why else would I post it? You know? <laughs> See, I would rearrange a few words if I was really just trying to get people to like it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill your mama if you don't like this picture. Oh, the threats. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And people would be like, oh geez. Or like, you know, those posts, if you don't share this, this devil, the girl's gonna show up in your room tonight. That kind of thing. I trick mm -hmm. people with that. Yeah, chain mail. Yeah, <laughs> chain mail. Oh, man, I'm gonna incorporate that into my Instagram when I come back. Three, two, one. Young Thug? Two chains? This is 21 Savage. Damn. That was my other guess. Because the, the knife. knife, because yeah. the dagger. That was literally the only, damn, dude. You were close. Sheesh, all right. But no cigar. Mm-hmm. First caption, thanks, JB, I owe you one. With the emoticon heart, yeah. not quite the emoji. No. Oh, Whoa. second one's long. Second one's long. More life to the man that gave me everything I have, my goat. And not just on some emoji shit. Sometimes I want to drop a tear, but no emotions from a king. Shall be. So I be. Who I be. That's me. That's Wheezy F, baby. And please say the motherfucking... <laughs> Last but not least, I took care of that thing for you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, so someone who has a relationship with Justin Bieber. Thanks, JB. I owe you one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Drake. Daniel Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> it's Drake. Yeah, of course it's Drake, because the wheezy part, yeah. <laughs> the wheezy part, but also, thanks, JB, I owe you one, I'm guessing is the DJ Khaled video Correct. where Justin Bieber plays Drake yes. in Popstar. Uh, Drake is kind of the king of the captions, too. Uh, what did he take care of that thing for you? What's I don't that? know. You don't know? Right. <laughs> oh my god. Did you know what I was thinking about the other day? Tell me. I always wanted to know what it looks like inside a dishwasher. Oh, uh, like when it's going? <laughs> like, I don't even know what goes on in there. Yeah. Like, there's a spinny thing on the bottom, but like, does it spray water from both all the sides? Like, like all that? Angles. What does it do? Yeah, I don't know. What would it look like if you could shrink yourself down and fit inside of a dishwasher. Don't even have to. Let's just start selling glass fronts for dishwasher. I've I got an even better idea. Tell me. Let's open up a place with just huge size dishwashers with huge size dishes so that you can experience what it's like to be inside of a dishwasher. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to be in a silverware container. <laughs> <laughs> with all oh, the other yeah. forks, you know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be my spot. I'm more of a top shelf guy, maybe in one of the bowls. Yeah, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. <laughs> it's kind of like a hot tub situation, yeah. but with a lot of stuff going mm -hmm. on. That'd be sick. Number three. Oh, God. I'm turning somebody's daughter up this summer on God at Dior. And the handshake. Yeah. <laughs> then, my first son slash pet died today. Hashtag Chrome, rest easy. Now, is this like a double doozy or his first son is the pet? I'm hoping that it's just, I think it's just the pet. Well, a couple bad things happened to get it today. I lost my first dog and well, of course my son too, but it was just a rough day start to finish. Maybe, you know, they were in a car accident and the dog was driving. <laughs> <laughs> and then she for the street. 
Pence. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> now, if Trump wasn't banned from IG, I'd probably assume this was his. <laughs> I'm turning somebody's daughter up this summer on God. Three, two, one. Gunna? CJ from a whoop D fame. <laughs> It is gonna! Dang! Nice! I remember reading this caption and being like, that's kind of a weird thing for Gunna to say. It doesn't seem to fit him, but at the same time, he's also one of those people where, like, we don't see his personality a ton. Definitely doesn't have a lot of it in his voice. Right. <laughs> yeah. Monotone, man. Well, now that you're hot, um, I'm feeling that feeling of helplessness, you know? Mm -hmm. When you get down 2-0 in an IG caption game. <laughs> yeah. We all know the feeling. <laughs> but, as Coach used to say, Put your shorts back on, Weaver. So, <laughs> quit trying to frame me. <laughs> that kind of stuff. That's not the locker room, that's a dumpster. <laughs> you were never on this team to begin with. <laughs> quit showing up in a Cavaliers jersey thinking you're gonna get playing time. <laughs> You've been out of high school for a decade. Stop showing up here. <laughs> it's a J.J. Hickson jersey too. He barely even played for the Cavs. <laughs> what was he, a trade piece? <laughs> Artist number four. First caption reads, middle finger emoji, whiteboy.com. <laughs> We got a halo emoji. Me and the Cardinals are definitely sharing a section tonight. Her cat emoji smell like Barnes and Noble, <laughs> dot, 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 parts. <laughs> Barnes and Noble is a great smelling place. What oh, is it yeah. about paper? Like a fresh book smells better than a fresh car or sneakers Straight or anything. Up. Yep. Uh, old book, old Pokemon cards, oh, old yeah. baseball cards. And mix that with like a little latte for the in Barnes and Noble Starbucks and sheesh. Might as well be a Yankee candle in there, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> I bet you they have a Barnes & Noble scented Yankee candle. And Yankee candle, much better than a Confederate candle. Oh yeah, well, 1-1, one, one, so. <laughs> Who's a Cardinals fan? See, that made me think, you know, a St. Louis fan or St. Louis native, possibly. Yeah, the football team, too. Oh, Arizona Cardinals. Right, could be a Zona gang kind of thing. Ooh, there's a zero rappers from Arizona, though. I guess Danny Orange from Overcast, is that, does that he count? Uh-huh, he counts. Mm -hmm. And her pussy smell like Barnes & Noble, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I don't think it's a white guy. You don't? I don't know. Three, two, one. Comethazine? Young boy? Jack Harlow. Dang. Oh my gosh. It was a white guy. I just went with St. Louis native. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's all I did. But I don't know. Rappers don't really get turned up for like, you know, MLB games. It doesn't yeah. seem like. <laughs> so why was he partnering with the Cardinals? I think it's the college basketball team. Oh, Louisville Cardinals. <laughs> Duh. Wow. That's, that's a team, too. <laughs> Man, there's a whole sausage factory in Louisville. It's Louisville. Eh, it's got an S. All right. <laughs> Whiteboy.com, though. Hmm. You selling merch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riley. Hey, Greg. Do you want to tell them a little bit more about our sponsor? Let's do it. Let's kick it over to the guys in the field. They're over there. That's right, guys. Today's video is sponsored by our friends over at OK Drugs. With their CBD peach eatables, they are vegan, they are non-psychoactive, they are our favorites, and you know all about them. Mm. Just last week, I had to appear in federal court. I was telling you about this. Ugh, stressful situation. Yeah. yeah, as long as up and down to the witness stand, in contempt, out of contempt, and you know what I mean. In, Just, a, in order, out of out order. Of order. You know? <laughs> clickety clack with the old gavel. Uh -huh. I mean, my ears were ringing. Yeah. And then the worst part was when I left and I got hit with a smack or rooney of a bill, seven figures big. Yeah, I mean, court fees are no joke, and federal court fees are dead serious. Mm hmm. That's why we're doing this ad for OK Drugs. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get out of this crippling debt. And you can also get out of crippling debt by saving 20% on these CBD peach eatables by using code HIVEMIND at checkout when you get your own. It's on us. Chew up and tune it, tune out and eat them. The website is linked in description. Please go get yourself some today. Do yourself a favor and do yourself a flavor, peach flavor to be exact, non-psychoactive CBD, peach eatables, okay drugs, link in description. Let's get back to the video. Let's get back to ourselves. Camera three, camera three. All right, Dang, Ooh, and shoot. we are back to the game. Yeah, that was fun. I love edibles. I mean, I love CBD. I mean, I love cigarettes. I love I lo eating them. Oh. Uh, no, I no, love no, no. you. I, oh, I'm still not ready. You're not ready? No. So well, you just let me know when you're ready, and I'll just wait idly and twiddle my thumbs around and keep pouring you affection. I'm sorry that me loving someone is not as easy as a decision as like a snack at the gas station. So I'm just a little snack to you, huh? You look like a little snack today, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Artist number five. Big shout out to at VP for taking the time out of her busy day to sit with me and have an open discussion. Hashtag, we gotta start somewhere. Mm -hmm. VP, who? Who's VP? Kamala. Ah, 
Got it. And then you know he getting money when he pop out with some short shorts. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I always thought that meant field goal. It was like the field goal emoji. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> if the refs did that, instead of holding their whole arms up, they just went. <laughs> this shit be for the trenches for real. Grammys wasn't even part of the plan. And another field goal. Another field goal. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil Baby. Dang it. Cardi B? It's Lil Baby. <laughs> Thought the only rapper that met with politicians was Cardi B. Until last week when Lil Baby did and everybody was on Lil Baby about it. But oh, I did see that. Lil Baby was at the White House on the anniversary of George Floyd's passing. Mm hmm And they all want to be mad at him, but they're not looking at the bigger picture. <laughs> it's a song of his! This guy's hilarious! Sorry. I can just see the conservative news headlines now. Vice President meets with a little baby to discuss <laughs> social change. <laughs> Joe Biden's quoted as saying, Goo goo gaga, someone change this a stinky diaper. <laughs> wow, 3 0. I'm getting goose bumped. Is mm. that what they call it? Yeah, that is what they call it. God, those books were scary. That's why they call it that, because it's scary when you don't have any points in a game. Mm -hmm. You're getting R.L. Stein tonight, kid. <laughs> Artist number six. <laughs> First caption reads, oh, hey, little wave. If you wear a triple D cup slash double E cup or bigger, what bra is actually comfortable on you? Asking for a friend. Rainbow emoji, unicorn emoji, little bow emoji, and kind of a emoji. <laughs> Second one, it's another movie. Um, while I was in Trinidad earlier this year, I had the worst morning sickness of all time. Uh -huh. Didn't know morning sickness could last all day either, but nevertheless, this is one of the pics I took before you could see my little baby bump. <laughs> Last week's vice presidential visit was a little baby bump, too. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry again. Pump the brakes on him like I ride bikes. Plus, my shooter don't miss. He like Mike. <laughs> wow, that's bars. Yeah. So a large-breasted pregnant woman. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're asking for their friend. About, oh, about well, bras. that's to me, this reads as like classic IG caption, like asking for a friend. Like it's like a joke. Mm, I don't know. I don't really. I mean, it says they're asking for a friend. I'm just going to take their word for it. OK, I don't know. Who had a baby? Three, two, one. Nicki Minaj? Nicholas Minaj. <laughs> it's Nicki Minaj. Yes. <laughs> oh, You're on the board. I didn't even know she had a babe, dude. Yeah. Well, not yet, right? Not yet. Not yet. Still pregnant. I didn't know she was pregnant with a babe, dude. <laughs> um, great time to bring a baby into the world. <laughs> Were you even thinking? <laughs> Come on! This place is falling apart! <laughs> what kind of kid wants to live here? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Dude, you're sick at that. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Do you think our audience likes stuff like that? Obviously. So like finger like, tricks? Like We're that. athletes. People love athletic stuff. Like. Mm -hmm. This is usually what I do at the bar if I'm trying to talk to a girl. I'll be like, hey, you look so, at this. <laughs> I'll grab a straw off the bar and be like, you got to impress them. That's yeah. what people don't understand is like mm -hmm. a lot of people try to start with like a one liner or, or like, honesty. Oh and my stuff God. Like <laughs> Old <laughs> EU. <laughs> yeah, you know, and or just like casual, normal uh -huh. conversation, being like a normal guy. You got to walk up immediately, impress them. It's where the hacky sack skills uh, you taught me back in college still work in my favor. <laughs> Everybody loves a little sack in. You yeah. know what I mean? I just pull it out and I'm like, psh, 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 psh. Next thing you know, 20 people around me. Woo, 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 woo. This guy rocks. This guy rules. Look at that sack. Look at it go. And it's just like you emanate sort of like a chill vibe too. Like yeah. People know you don't shower too much. Right. You don't like probably have good job, a uh -uh. stable job. No money. good job for uh, the sacker. Don't have car. That sort of deal. <laughs> you know have car, yeah. And then people kind of know that ahead of time. So yeah. it's like instead of having the small talk of being like, Oh no, I don't have a car. You don't have to no, say that. You pull the sack out. You pull out. the hacky sack out, and people just know. People like might give you a few bucks. Right. Hey man, <laughs> catch the bus home <laughs> when it's your time. Ours number seven. You see me fighting a crocodile. Help the crocodile. <laughs> Hashtag Birkenstock. Huh? She with the one, not the two. And then had a warrant in Clayco and beat the case, and I'm fresh as hell, bitch. Easter day. Whoa. You built like a Campbell's soup can. What now? You're built like a Campbell's soup can. Like how? Cylindrical. I don't think so. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. The baby? It's gotta be Chance the Rapper. 
<laughs> it is future. Um, that was my other guess, dude. I straight up was debating between future and the baby. I heard Chance has got a lot of warrants out. Also, quick sidebar: these are just only three pictures on Instagram. Wow. Really? Yes. The rest are archived. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. It's a savage move. Just if he deleted two more, he would kind of be on like a real cool level. You know what I mean? Right. It would be like me, future. <laughs> And what else do you need? <laughs> Me in future. <laughs> Artist number eight, caption number one. Song of the summer at Billboard. Lately, I've been sitting in the house getting rich. <laughs> rich ass stepper. I don't even know what that last one means. A rich ass stepper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like somebody who walks around all rich. Yeah, that's it? Yeah, maybe they have, it's probably, maybe it's a picture of like crocodile boots or something. Like it's like, mm. or maybe it's a picture of their stepfather who is very wealthy. That's cool. So it's like rich ass stepper. It's kind of yeah. like, you know, you shorten, I don't want to say stepdad. You know? Right. That's, this is my rich ass stepper. Three, two, one. Young Thug. Polo G. This one is the baby. Ah. ah. Song of the summer. What song is the song of the summer from the Let's baby? go. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that one. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Shug. <laughs> Let's go. From 2019. <laughs> Artist number nine. Happy Sunday. I think I stand pigeon toed because of Michael Jordan. <laughs> with a smiley, a blushing smiley face. This represents good and America becoming whole again. We will no longer outsource to other countries. We build factories here in America and create jobs. We will provide jobs for all who are free from prisons as we abolish the 13th Amendment. Message sent with love. Whoa. Okay. Three, two, one. Chance the Rapper. I hate to double back, but I guess the same thing, yeah. It is Kanye West. Oh, I thought he was banned or something from Instagram. Gosh. That was my other guess. The Chicago tie and the justice reform. If you were an ass car driver, what brand? What'd you call me? It sounded like you called call me an ass car driver. Anyway, go ahead. If you were an ass car driver, which brand would you plaster all over? Oh. If you got to pick, because obviously, you know. Oh. Probably Nerds Clusters, Gummy Clusters. <laughs> And Camel Blues. <laughs> Nerds clusters <laughs> and, and Camel, camel Blues. blues. Yeah. A combo, huh? Yeah. Okay. You can have a couple on there. Really? Yeah. I've only ever seen like all tied everything, you know? That's true. I think it is mostly one. But then you get some other like little sponsorships. So yeah. maybe I'd be at the Nerds car. Okay. I have like some, the little camels on the bottom. Are you allowed to advertise tobacco, tobacco products? Come on, there's a skull car, has been for 40 years. That's really? That's never gonna change. Is it shaped like the tin? Yeah, that's why it never wins. <laughs> 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 it's just not aerodynamic, but I mean, it gets people to buy dip, I don't know. <laughs> Fans love it. Artist number 10, first caption, new phone, period. <laughs> it's a new phone, then space, then period. Yeah. That's really cool. Second caption, I just made 10 vibes, car. <laughs> 10 vibes, 10 songs we can assume? I thought, isn't isn't vibes like V-Bucks? Oh, you have to mine for them. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah. some sort of other thing. V-Bucks are so bad for the environment. All these people getting rich off them, mm -hmm. they don't understand. The ecological impact, I mean, come on. It's a, it's a monstrosity. Think about what you're doing for those new skins. Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need new skin by the time you guys are done with these V-Bucks, man. And then, <laughs> when I drop, Oh my God, spelled like a computer typed in or something. <laughs> it's a true case of new phone, who dis? Usually you don't guess. I was gonna make a bad joke about it when I first read it and I'm glad I holstered it. So I could make the bad joke? No, your joke was all right. Oh, all it was right. better than bad, wasn't good. The most all right show on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I watch Hide Mine. One of you guys is all right. <laughs> Their comedy is all right. His hopes and dreams are all right. No, your <sighs> hopes and dreams are all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Cardi. Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi. Yes. Yeah. Only he could text from space like this. Yeah, you know exactly. I, mean? I feel like the way he operates on the internet is kind of how his his vocal tone is too. It's like he just kind of things sneak out, and it's just very feels very little. Yeah. It's like he's just like. Hey. It's like when the, the whole thing, oh my God. it just sneaks through his lips. It's like, open your mouth a little bit more, you know? 5-2? Five 5-2. Two. Five two. The height I was just a year ago before I started stretching myself. Stretching himself. Yes. HGH. Ooh, baby! <laughs> Last one. Car insurance is a scam. True. I can already tell this person's probably from Michigan. Happy third leg Thursday. That's a penis joke. <laughs> yep. That's a huge penis joke. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. And the happy room tour. Oh, it could be Pharrell. He's so happy that his leg is so long. <laughs> By leg, I mean his dick. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil Rosie. Eminem. <laughs> it's Lil Rosie. Dang it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm in one of these. Uh, <laughs> you get a point though, right? They are one and the same. Yeah, white guy from Detroit. I mean, yeah, sure. Cool, I'll take a point. <laughs> okay. Six to three. <laughs> All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this game of guessing the rapper from their Instagram captions. Please comment some of your favorite Instagram captions or send them to Grant. His Instagram will be in the description. You can DM him literally anything. Your mm. thoughts, your feelings, pictures, or whatever. Doesn't matter. Just fill up those DMs. And other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. Thank you to our sponsor, OK Drugs. Thank you. We mean that stuff, too, when we say it. We love OK Drugs. Check the link in the description. <laughs> Please go get yours today. 20% off with code HiveMind. And lastly, Graydon, would you like to leave our people that are watching the video with some advice? to leave or live their lives by. I would like to quote Al Pacino from Two for the Money. Humility is not a virtue. It might be a vice. Should have done it in his voice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all right, this has been Hotline TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you in the next video.